candy store is so easy to start. You can even open one in your own room. Money, money, money! How come Candace never Aww. has any in her wallet? And Martin doesn't care! The only thing that matters is candy! Do you want some candy, Candace? Help yourself! Hmm. Martin, you're a genius! Here's what we're going to do! We're going to open a candy store! Right in this room! Martin, don't even think about hiding any candy from me! But I don't have anything, Candace! I don't believe you! This is all for the store, Martin! Well, if that's the case, there you go! Anything for our sweet business! We have a lot to do! Let's get started! We'll need a sheet of heavy cardboard. Put markings on the corners. Cut off the excess and bend the edges. And now, assemble the box. Mark the folds with a ruler. And hot glue the pieces. The main part is almost ready. Draw a square on a piece of cardboard. Cut it out. That was easy. Hmm. What's next? Oh, I have an idea. We'll need containers from cereal and pasta. Empty them out. Three containers will be enough. <sighs> now make holes in the lids. Voila! Put the lids back on. Make holes in the box, too. Make sure they line up with the lids. And now for the fun part. Put the containers in the box and attach it to the square piece. The candy will come out automatically. We need a special mechanism. Let's make another cardboard work piece and then assemble the box with holes. Put them on the bottom and on the side. Let's put it together. But what about the candy button? Let's use a cardboard tube. Cut a hole in it and make a button on top. Decorate it with a bright picture. The customers should know what they are buying. Put the buttons in their places. And connect the mechanism to the base. Yay! It's ready! Now fill the containers with candy. But Candace isn't happy yet. Martin, we need to paint this machine. Whatever you say, sis. Candace has a lot to do, too. Let's put the candy in the containers. No, no, Goodbye, no, diet. No. Candace, everything is ready. What do you think? Mm. Hey, that's not fair. We don't eat candy. We sell it. Oh, come on. Just one piece. All right. Chips need a cool dispenser, too. Candace is going to make one. Let's assemble a cardboard box with holes on the side and put a cardboard cover with slots on top. Now make the buttons. Glue circles to rectangles. Here we go. Each button has its own flavor. Insert the cardboard latches. The base is ready. We just need to install the chip containers. Wow! Who would have thought that it would be so easy? Now just paint it and the machine is ready! Chips and candy machines go wow. right on the counter! And to make sure this area attracts the customer's attention, we need to decorate it a little bit! Wow! It looks so cute! And the machines work like a charm! Just press a button and the candy is in the bag or in the cup! Come and get it! So tasty! I'll have some of everything. Enjoy it, Emily. Mmm, I love M&M's. I'll have the chocolate-covered peanuts. These are yummy. How about some chips, Lay? If you can't choose, take a little bit of everything. A mix is the best choice. The customers are happy. And Martin is already counting their first earnings. You can't make a lot of money on candy and chips alone. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Here comes the leaf blower. Martin, be serious for once. Let's get to work. Attach the leaf blower to these hooks. Secure it with plastic ties. And now let's take some plastic bottles. Cut off all the extra parts. You're going to need a lot of those to make a whole labyrinth on the wall. Nice job, sis. All right. So, shall we fire up our popcorn machine? It's working! And don't forget the decorations! Wow. Even the decor is tasty! A stream of air drives the popcorn down the tube! Don't forget to put the cup there! That's awesome! Now it's time to...
time to make some money. Meet our popcorn machine. Wow. Want to get your hands on some nano food technology? Oh, yes. This candy right. store is really cutting edge. Wow. I wonder if we can use these old hmm. wheels. Oh. Sure. Yeah. We'll make stands out of them. Attach the wheels to a plastic pipe and glue them on. Hmm. Martin is a real pro. He already made a wooden stand with legs. Let's attach the wheels to it. Wow, it can spin too. Where do we put the baked goods? This cardboard holder will do just fine. We'll just glue it to the wheels. And to sell more, just make a couple more of these holders. Martin did a good job. It's ready to go. Candace has her topping machine. It's a must-have for all their pastries. Come and get your donuts and cakes. And don't forget to choose your toppings. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. Jam, sprinkles, or whipped cream. That's a tough choice. You have to try everything. Sales are up today, but this is just the beginning. Martin, don't even think about it. What if someone wants to drink hot cocoa? Our store has to have everything. Let's make a cocoa machine. We need to cut out a piece like this. Assemble it by bending along the lines. Glue it together so that the machine will be sturdy. Bend the left and right parts towards the middle. And put on the lid. The cocoa machine is almost ready. And this will be the drink lever. Martin, check this out. Are you sure this will work, Candace? Definitely. Uh -oh. It needs to be waterproof. That's a tough one. Mm. I have a solution. Mm. Make holes in the bottle cap. And insert the tubes. Attach another cap to one of the tubes. Cover it with glue to make it airtight. And now, put the cap on. Martin already has a bottle of hot cocoa. Now put the second cap on an empty bottle. It will create pressure. And send the cocoa into the cup. Assemble the machine and test it out. Attach the tube to the lever. And put the bottle with the drink in the upper tank of the machine. I'll have some cocoa, Martin. Yay! It's working! Now we have to paint the machine. Ordinary cocoa is so boring. Let's add some toppings and the customer will be happy. I'll have a double shot of cocoa and marshmallow. You got it, miss. Enjoy it. Our profits are already off the charts. Yes. The store is definitely short on cotton candy. A plastic bowl and a drill will solve this problem in no time. You'll also need a metal lid from a can. Cut a hole in the bowl. Like this. Cut out the middle of the plastic <laughs> lid. Insert the drill, the round nozzle, and the cover. A couple of minutes later, the device is ready. Put the plastic lid on. And you can also make a cart. We will put the cotton candy machine in it. Let's not forget about the decor. Wow. And now, we can make our first batch of cotton candy. Who wants some? Me! That's so good. So sweet. Mm. Candace has another brilliant idea. Let's make a shooting game. Make a piece like this out of cardboard. Cut out windows of different sizes in the center. Now assemble the box. The vase is ready. Now just glue it together and paint it. Hmm. Martin, look what I came up wow. with. There will be sweet prizes in these windows. And to get a wow. treat, you have to knock it down. Except Candace doesn't have the right weapon. Hmm. Martin can help. Hmm. He's about to make an awesome slingshot. Put a wooden holder and a spring inside a plastic tube. You also need a small lever and a locking device. What about ammo? How's that for ammo? Great, Candace! Wow. All you have to do to shoot is pull the lever. Hmm. Where will we put our sweet game? Right in front, of course. Try your luck, ladies and gentlemen. Can I go first? Of course, Melissa. Try it. It's not so easy to knock down those sweets. But that's great news for Martin and Candace. 
The customers will have to pay for every try. But everyone will get lucky sooner or later. Bingo! Wow! Candace, the shooting game is a hit. Every soda mm. is delicious. What if you mix them? Uh -huh. Martin already came up with an interesting plan. We'll need a couple of taps and pipe joints. Now let's build a whole system and connect the bottles to the taps. It's not hard at all. And to make sure everything is working, let's make a wooden holder and put a faucet with a valve on it. Let's place our lemonade structure on top. Who here would like to try our awesome soda? It's refreshing and unique! Best drink ever! The sweet store lived up to our expectations! We're rich, Martin! It doesn't really matter what you sell, as long as you do it creatively! Which sweet ideas were your favorites? <laughs> Tell us in the comments! Did you like our video? <laughs> then give it a thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and click the bell. Don't miss any new exciting videos on Troom Troom Select.